Let's continue with Adamy's success story in launching overseas. With total sales reaching the billion dollar mark last year, Adamy is said to be very active in branching out in the global market as well. Adamy has expanded into 10 other countries, right? Yes. Uh, we have branch offices in 10 countries, including the U.S., Japan, and Taiwan. And global sales from these locations came to about $200 million last year. This year, we plan to open branches in three more countries, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Australia. And we plan to expand into China, India, and Russia by next year. For some of those global branches coming soon, office managers have been recruited and have started working already. They are busy preparing for the new openings. Do you have a goal in mind for your sales and exports? We have consistently been recognized for our outstanding export records. We have been awarded the Export Tower in recognition of $5 million, $10 million, and $30 million of exports. And last year, we were awarded the Export Tower for $50 million. This year, we're expected to receive the $100 million Export Tower. As of now, our annual sales in Korea are about $1 billion. And in the long run, we expect that our sales overseas will reach about five to ten times that of our domestic sales. So my heart is filled with anticipation for the future of Atomy's global success. I'm excited that Atomy is expected to be awarded the 100 million export tower this year. Atomy will be actively expanding into the global market and continuing to branch out into more and more countries worldwide. Does Atomy have a particular strategy for targeting the global market? Yes. We have something called the GSGS strategy, which is the Global Sourcing Global Sales Strategy. We go beyond selling products just made in Korea. If one of our partnering countries has a great product that has high market potential, we will source it. That means that we will purchase that product and not only sell it in Korea, but in all the other countries where we have branches. I suppose you could call this intermediary trade. For example, sandwich seaweed and aroma patches are products that come from Taiwan. We take those products and export them to Singapore and Malaysia. They can be brought into Korea but these Taiwanese products can also be exported to Singapore and to Malaysia. I see. So that's how you expand it globally. Yes, this GSGS strategy not only helps Taiwan, but people in Singapore and in Malaysia also benefit from enjoying high-quality products at an affordable price. For another example, we purchase pepper that is produced in Cambodia, and we sell it in Korea, as well as in the 10 other countries where Atomy is located. Therefore, from all kinds of products worldwide, we hand pick and source those that have a competitive edge in quality and price. In other words, we source only products that meet absolute quality, absolute price standards. And we sell those products to other countries. That's why we call it global sourcing, global sales. Our dream is for Atomy to become a worldwide hub of distribution. This is my vision for Atomy.